Hello, I am Stefan Kine from Unigraph. In this video, I will introduce Unigraph's UCD422 HDMI 2.1 test equipment. I will explain how to select and set FRL link rate using UCD console software. UCD422 is a HDMI 2.1 generator and analyzer. UCD422 can be used for testing HDMI transmitters like PCs, game consoles, and media players, and receivers like TVs, monitors, or virtual reality headsets. UCD422 supports video resolutions up to 10K. You can test all HDMI interface functions with UCD422 and UCD console software. UCD422 supports enhanced gaming features like variable refresh rate and auto low latency mode. UCD422 also supports HDCP versions 1.4 and 2.3, enhanced audio return channel eARC, and display stream compression DSC. UCD console is the graphical user interface for all Unigraph UCD family test equipment. UCD console includes a pattern generator function to source video and audio while providing a capture function to monitor and store received content. With UCD console, the user can monitor status of the HDMI interface and the connected HDMI receiver device. UCD console has dedicated dialogues for controlling all functions of the UCD422 test equipment. The event log feature enables the monitoring of received metadata packets like InfraFrames. In this demonstration, we will use Unigraph's UCD422 in generator role. That means as a HDMI 2.1 source device to test a HDMI connected receiver. We will show how to source 8K video and how to configure the HDMI link to carry this signal. Let us first get familiar with the new FRL signaling. FRL signaling was introduced with HDMI version 2.1. It features some major differences compared to the earlier TMDS signaling. TMDS uses three data lanes, each dedicated to one color component, red, green, and blue. Clock signal uses its own lane. FRL transports data differently. Video data is evenly distributed to all data lanes, and clock information is embedded in the link data. The link speed principle is also different. In FRL, the transmission link rate is not directly proportional to video pixel rate. FRL uses six link rate combinations. Three and six gigabytes per second uses three lanes, while six, eight, 10, and 12 gigabytes per second uses four lanes. Let us see how to select the link rate. The data rate is the amount of data sent over the link. It depends on the selected video resolution and frame rate. It also depends on the selected color mode and color bit depth. The used audio mode and compression also affects the amount of data sent. Link speed calculations are pretty complicated. The easiest way is to use the tables found in the UCD422 user manual. It lists the minimum link rate needed for each video mode and color mode combination. In our example, we will be using UCD422 to source 8K non-compressed video with 60Hz frame rate. We will use YCBCR color mode with 8 bit depth per color component. From the table in the UCD422 user manual, we can see that the minimum link rate for this combination 
is 8 gigabits per second. This link rate is using all four lanes. Let us go to the link tab in the UCD console to set the link rate. The link mode pull down menu in the FRL configuration panel is where we can select the 8 gigabits per second four lanes configuration. Once this is set, we can apply link training to enable the new link rate. In the status panel, we can now see that the change has been made and all lanes are OK. Let us go to the Pattern Generator tab where we can configure the video signal. At first, we will select 8K at 60Hz video mode and 8-bit color depth. When choosing YCBCR video mode, we will have to select the pattern called Color Square. Now we can go to the color mode selection and choose YCBCR 420. When the selections are ready, we can click Apply. We can now see that the pattern sent is changing and the new timing is set as requested. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can find more videos and other material from Unigraph on our website, unigraph.fi. If you have any questions about selecting the link rates, UCD422 test equipment, or other Unigraph products, please do not hesitate to contact us.